Hello everyone. In this video, I will teach you about Vim copy buffers or registers, multiple places to copy your text to so that you can insert, insert, insert without going back and forth. I'm Mike Levin from MikeLevinSEO.com. And when last we left off, I put a bunch of stuff inside my index.html that really belongs in the base.html file that this inherits from. I'm using the Mako template system under uh, Pygreen and Flask, and it's a nifty little alternative to PHP that lets you use the Python programming language and a lot of extra features thrown in by this Mako template system. So as promised, I need to copy a bunch of stuff. And as you'll remember, if I did DD for delete, I could simply paste that back in with P. And that is nice if you're just moving one piece of content around. But what if you want to move this and this and this all at the same time to another file. It's a pain to go back and forth. So remember that quote I did for buffers or registers? Well, remembering the concept of the double quote is important here because anything you can do with just a normal command like dd for delete, you can also append quote and any letter from A through Z in the alphabet, and that is its distinct separate buffer or register. And so I can do, for example, that same thing I did before, quote A, D, D. I just deleted it into register A. And likewise, I will go down to this one here. I'm just going to delete, delete, because we don't, we'll put the close div back by hand. But now, quote, B, D, D, and uh, this looks like content, but it's not all content. It's just content where the iframe begins because that paragraph has class equals 12 columns in there, and that kind of thing really belongs in the template file and not in the main content file. You should not have to think about um, something spanning 12, 12 columns when you're just inserting text. So in this case, I'm going to do V for highlight visual, arrow key over. And now I used A and B. So I do quote C D D, or it wasn't D D. Uh, I'm going to hit escape to get rid of the extra D command it took. It was just uh, the first D because I had already use visual highlighting. So um, shift A to go into append mode at the end of the line and I'll just backspace over that. And now we only have one more to take care of. Escape to get out of insert mode. Quote D. 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 Quote D D D. All right, so now we only have the H1, the H2, and the iframe, and uh, I might be as bold as to save that, but I will do my trick of not saving. I'm doing tab E, and we bring up the base.html file, and now we're editing the two files at once. GT, GT cycles us back and forth. And an interesting thing here is that everything is going to go into that container element. So I'm going to do slash container. And whereas I crammed everything onto one line, I'm going to knock that onto separate lines now. And the wrappers that I just copied into my buffers have to actually go uh, inside that container element. So now I hit escape to get out of insert mode. And here's where the magic starts double quote a p we just pasted in the 16 column instruction and I'm going to paste them all in one after another and then 
move them around to where they actually belong. Uh, quote B, whoops, quote BP, quote CP, quote DP. And that's everything that was previously on the index.html, now here in base. And now I'm going to sort out where things really belong. This whole concept of the 16 columns goes away because the headline is in the content on the index.html. So we don't have the single headline spanning uh, 16 columns anymore. I've got an extra open bracket, so I hit X to get rid of that. You can delete with a single character X without even going out of uh, command mode. You don't have to go into insert mode for simple uh, deletes. And uh, so now the uh, 12 column instruction that previously surrounded the iframe needs to go Oh, and there's where the uh, extra pointy bracket came from. I hit D, insert mode, left pointy bracket, get the nav element back intact. But it needs to go right above where the body is. So escape P, whoops, that's how I'm making that mistake. So sometimes it's better to insert a line and then hit escape and then hit P. That way, the insert is a, is a clean one. And uh, let's see. It's no longer appropriate to have a, a paragraph tag for what defines that. So I'm going to turn that back into a div. And we'll have to make sure that our open and closing divs are all nicely matched up. So let's see. What else? The Ending navigation no longer belongs there. It belongs underneath here. And uh, okay, I'll do some indenting to make sure that our uh, divs are, are paired up. That is the first div. This serves as a div, so I'll indent that. It closes at the end, so this is the next div. And then the body is there. And that needs its closed div after the body text is done. Div. And then the footer, which is at the same point here, and then that closing one. So now all our divs are properly opened and closed and uh, the content is now handled a slightly different way. And uh, let's see, GT, save. And I would argue cleaner because now you go into your uh, copied and pasted minimal index.html or whatever file it's going to become. And now all you have to do is worry about what goes in between the block tags as far as your SEO meta stuff. And then uh, everything else is just page content, where in the next tutorial you'll see I'm actually going to be using Markdown. Um, but you think of it as the very inside uh, part without worrying about any of that navigation or anything. So we make sure it's saved, and we go over here and we do a refresh. And it looks identical. Oh, almost. I was a little quick there. It looks nearly identical. Um, with tools like uh, uh, the developer tool built into Chrome, you could actually see the elements, but merely by me highlighting across there, I see that I've got my three columns, which are in fact the instructions that I was giving. I have a little extra line wrapping that I didn't have before because the headline can't span quite as wide as it used to, uh, but this is precisely what I asked for, and now that I understand what I'm looking at, precisely what I expected retroactively. So that's uh, pretty much it. Now we can quit, quit, git, commit, am, and uh, that will be moved nav 
into template git push. Thanks for joining me. Share the video if you feel it's worth sharing, and don't forget to subscribe.